ഹായ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ ഫ്യൂച്ചർ മിഡ് വൈഫ് ഐ തിങ്ക് ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ഐഡിയൽ ടൈം ടു എക്സ്പ്രസ് മൈ ഗ്രാറ്റിറ്റ്യൂഡ് ടുവേഴ്സ് യു ഐ ഹാവ് റിസീവ്ഡ് മെനി പേഴ്സണൽ കമൻസ് വിച്ച് ഷോസ് മൈ വീഡിയോസ് ആർ യൂസ്ഫുൾ ഫോർ യു ഓൾ എസ്പെഷ്യലി ദ നഴ്സിംഗ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ദേവ് പേഴ്സണലി ഷെയർഡ് ദയർ കമൻറ്റ് ടു മീ ആൻഡ് ദേ സെഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് വെരി യൂസ്ഫുൾ ഫോർ ദ ഫോർത്ത് ഇയർ നഴ്സസ് അപ്പാർട്ട് ഫ്രം ദാറ്റ് the nurses those who are working in the labor room they also shared few comments about my videos they said which is very useful for them and also my videos gives them to recollect their knowledge so anyway my courage is yours comments and support so please support me like this so in the last class i have covered the third stage of labor and its management so this class we will move on to the fourth stage the recovery phase after the delivery of the placenta often referred to as the fourth stage of labor it is the critical period that begins after the delivery of the placenta and which ends where the mother's system has stabilized usually 1 to 4 hours later fourth stage of labor is the ideal time to start the breastfeeding because the newborn are alert and ready to nurse breastfeeding during this phase helps for the contraction of the uterus so that we can prevent the postpartum hemorrhage as i said you this fourth stage of labor is the crucial time for mother and child so we need to observe the mother and child during this hour so if the mother and child has stabilized her physical condition we can shift the baby and mother to the ward during this phase the midwife has to check the following assessment which include observe the vital signs palpate the abdomen to assess and monitor uterine tone and size do uterine massage if necessary ensure continuous infusion of oxytocin encourage early breastfeeding to promote endogenous oxytocin release assess the lower genital tract for bleeding repair of an episiotomy or any lacerations and close observation every 15 minutes for the next hour in addition to that the midwife has to check the physical assessment of the newborn also that means head to foot newborn assessment can be done during this phase the main purposes of newborn assessment are to understand the physical and mental well-being of the child to detect disease in early stage to determine the cause and effect of the disease to determine the nature or treatment or care needed for the child on the basis of time of performing assessment it is of three types the first one is immediate newborn assessment the second one is transitional assessment during period of reactivity the third one is periodical assessment in the first and foremost immediate newborn assessment is checking the apscar score apscar score is the quantitative assessment of circulatory respiratory and neurological status it is done at 1 minute and 5 minute after the delivery after that the midwife has to check the weight of the baby later on the length of the baby head circumference chest circumference abdominal circumference after that she has to check the umbilical cord the length of the umbilical cord and also she can check two umbilical arteries and one vein in the umbilical cord after that she has to check the orifices and its patency the first orifice is mouth she has to check the cleft palate and cleft lip next she can move on to the ears and nose then she has to check the genitalia in case of male child she can check if there is any epispediasis or hypospediasis next she can check the spine of the baby if there is any abnormality like spina bifida next we will move on to the transitional assessment during the period of reactivity 
after birth the neonate try to adjust with the extra uterine environment this period of first 24 hours of life is the period of reactivity in which changes occurs in vital functions like heart rate respiration motor activity skin color bladder and bowel activity the first 6 to 8 hours of birth is the first period of reactivity during the first 30 minutes of birth the neonate is very active and alert she cries and has strong sucking this time is the best for breastfeeding and eye to eye contact between mother and child during the time following assessment has to be done that is general examination anthropometric assessment head to toe examination neurologic examination reflexes and estimation of gestational age the second period of reactivity start when the newborn awake from first sleep that is about 6 to 8 hours after birth this period is last for about 2 to 5 hours in this period the neonate is again alert active and responsive heart rate and respiratory rate are slightly increased gastric and respiratory secretions are increased this stage is followed by period of stabilization of physiological system here i will explain the general examination of newborn the first one is posture in full term babies generalized flexion is seen the head and neck is flexed in case of preterm baby baby lies in a frog like position next we'll see the activity normally neonates are active and alert whenever they are drowsy and irritable which indicate any neurological disturbances next one is cry the newborn usually cries whenever they are hungry or wet we cry is seen in case of preterm or low birth weight baby whereas in case of high pitch cry will be indicated if there is any increased intracranial pressure next will be the color the usually neonates are pink in color both body and extremities if there is any respiratory distress which indicate extremities blue checking vital sign also very important during this phase the normal temperature ranges between 35.5 degree celsius to 37.7 degree celsius the heart rate should be monitored whenever the child is calm and quiet the normal range between 120 to 140 beat per minutes the normal respiratory range between 40 to 60 breath per minutes the main purposes of anthropometric measurements are to assess the body size against non-standard for the population the second purpose is to compare the size with the estimated period of gestation the third purpose is to provide a baseline against with subsequent progress can be measured the normal weight should be recorded within an hour of birth the average birth weight of term baby is between 2.5 kg to 3.5 kg the normal head circumference ranges between 33 to 35 centimeter the chest and abdomen will be 31 to 33 centimeter the normal length of the baby will be 47 to 54 centimeter the body weight of the neonate on an average is 2.5 to 3 kg which i said you just before the neonate loses about 10 percentage of weight in the first day of the life thereafter babies gain about 25 to 30 gram per day the chest circumferences is about 31 to 33 centimeter it is 2 to 3 centimeter less than the head circumferences in case of head circumferences immediately after birth molding of skull may give inaccurate measurement of head circumferences so it should be measured of head circumferences is 33 to 35 centimeter it may be larger in case of hydrocephalus and smaller in microcephaly or craniostenosis all those newborn assessment has to be performed by one nurse at the same time midwife has to check the uterus after the delivery of the placenta the uterus will be found in between the midline of umbilicus and symphysis pubis 
if the uterus is lies above the umbilicus which indicate presence of any clot which need to be removed immediately the uterus found above the umbilicus and to one side usually the right side indicate a full bladder the uterus is assessed every 15 minutes for the first hour the woman is positioned with the knee flexed and head flat the nurse uses one hand to stabilize the uterus just above the symphysis pubis and the outer edge of the other hand to locate the fundus position of the fundus is noted in relation to the umbilicus and recorded as centimeter above or below the umbilicus during the fourth stage the fundal height usually is at the level of the umbilicus placement of the uterus also is noted in relation to midline consistency is also noted if the uterus is not firm it is referred to as bogey and the fundus is massaged gently in a circular motion until the uterus contract and become firm here we can wind up today's section with this topic i have completed the fourth stages of labor and its management so our stages of labor has completed so in the next video onwards we can move on to the postnatal period so till that take care bye bye